Kick in. And they're off for the inaugural running of the Easy Fix Steeplethon. And they go towards the first of the 19 fences over the stack, all safely over Boogie Biz and also confirmed front runner Handsome Hoyt. And Handsome Hoyt has pulled his way now into the lead. Also is quick enough to win over the mile and 16th on the dirt at Parks not so long ago. Horse has got plenty of pace and he wants to go much faster than Bernie Dalton will allow. They're over the Queen's Coop for the first time and now they climb up Heartbreak Hill and on towards the Gold Cup timber rails and all safely over. Boogie Biz now coming through to dispute the running with Handsome Hoyt as they reach the top of the hill. And now they freewheel into the home straight. Racing in third is Ride Away. And then in fourth on the inside is Hanno with Giza on the outside in the hands of rider Tom Garner. No stranger to riding in races with a variety of obstacles. He's already competed in the Velka Pardovicka over in the Czech Republic. They've gone over fence four, which is another timber rail, and now on to the Irish hurdle. Handsome Hoyt just took a little bit of a look at the hurdle, probably wasn't big enough for him. And so they come up now towards the water jump for the first time. And it's Handsome Hoyt and Bernie Dalton out clear by two lengths to Boogie Biz, Sean McDermott over in second, then ride away. Hanno between horses and Giza is taking a strong hold, restrained and racing just a little wide into the turn. So along the side of the course they go, on now towards the European style plain fence. As they go to it, Handsome Hoyt leads the way. Handsome Hoyt stood a long way off that, really had a great cut at that, came out of his rider's hands. And he's out in front with Bernie Dalton aboard, and he's gone clear by three lengths with that spring-heeled leap, crossing over fence number seven. Two, the only horse who's previously run in a steeplethon, Boogie Biz in second, runner up twice in the Great Meadow steeplethon, then ride away, who's got the white headgear, Geezer on the outside as they go over the stack, and Geezer was out jumped there by Hanno, who jumped up between horses, bidding to give champion trainer Jack Fisher his third win on what's already been a tremendous Queen's Cup afternoon for the yard. Over the Queen's Coop for the second time, and they're all safely over that bullfinch and now they climb up heartbreak hill and on towards halfway in the easy fix steeplethon of 2019 and handsome hoyt comes towards the post and rails and he's over with a lead of two lengths to boogie biz in second and then two and a half lengths away geezer together with right away and now hanno just relegated to last once again with quinn scala riding in her first Steeplethon under NSA rules. Down the hill they come. They've still got a mile and a quarter to go, and now they're about to face up to the 11th, which is another post and rails. Handsome Hoyt comes to it. He jumped that one really well. To Boogie Biz and ride away on the inside, a little bit wider, plotting a wide course. Tom Garner on Giza, and still the back marker is Hanno. Over the hurdle. Once again, Handsome Hoyt. Didn't really pick his feet up there. Didn't give that a great deal of respect. On then towards the water jump. Handsome Hoyt comes to it. He's seen a good stride here, but then he just decided to put down on his rider and a copycat error by Giza, who took it in third. Thought Handsome Hoyt was really going to have a cut at that water jump, but he decided better of it as they now race along the side of the course. Now, Handsome Hoyt really did ping this plane fence on the previous circuit. He's got a lead of just over a length as he comes to it this time. And again, jumps it well, but so too Boogie Biz, who is still traveling very powerfully on the inside for Sean McDermott, who's looking for a double on the card. Giza around the outside, and then right away and a couple of lengths back to Hanno. So now they're entering the final three quarters of a mile. They've still got five more to take. On now towards the stack for the final time. Handsome Hoyt jumps it well, a little bit better there than Boogie Biz, who for the first time was just a little low. And that one was out, jumped by Geezer, who's now taken second. But Handsome Hoyt 
continues to bold along in front, this really bold front runner, comes towards the bullfinch, and down there is Giza. Giza has fallen, went in second place, he's quickly up on his feet, and Tom Garner did get up, but he's now just gone down again, but the horse is running on loose, as Handsome Hoyt goes now towards the timber rails right at the top of Heartbreak Hill, and it's Handsome Hoyt, Tabugi Biz in second, right away in third, Hanno is in fourth position. Tom Garner is now up on his feet okay. So now they're making the run down the hill. They've got two more to take in the steeplethon. They've got the post and rails and then the Irish hurdle. And now right away, making a three wide, sweeping bid around the outside of Boogie Beers and Handsome Hoyt and Hanno is three lengths away. Over two out, right away in front. Handsome Hoyt has gone. Handsome Hoyt was in third and beaten when he crashed out at two from home. Hanno in third was hampered. Down towards the final fence. And it is right away over the hurdle. Clear by two lengths. To Boogie Biz in second. And Hanno is now staying on for Quinn Scala. They've got 100 yards to go. And Hanno is getting up. And what a great first ride in a steeplethon for winning rider Quinn Scala. And it's three on the day for winning trainer Jack Fisher. It was Hanno who got up in the shadow of the post, 